Hello, Gun Nation. We are uh, trying to get this up live here real quick. Make sure it's working. Okay, it looks like it is. Hello, Gun Nation. Oh, hello. There we go. It's working. All right. Uh, what we've got is KS is out on special assignment. And uh, so he won't be with us tonight. And 1776 is feeling like crud. So I really hope he gets better. So it's just me. So hopefully we can uh, keep this keep this rolling, keep everybody excited. Uh, we've got Rich here. We've got Craig. We've got Locked and Loaded, Mr. Nolan, Harry's Holsters. Give a quick rundown. Uh, let's see here. We've got Left for Wild, Parasitic Generation, Knuckle 60. Crusader Arms, uh, Steve R. Appreciate y'all being here tonight. If you missed it, um, KS is out on uh, special assignment, and 1776 is feeling ill. So hope he gets better. Luke Dogs here, bald and curious. Yeah, I'm the lone cowboy tonight. Um, so it's it's me, but uh, they are here in spirit. Trust me. Uh, Big Mo, Free Low, Home Runner. But uh, we'll go ahead and get this cranked off since uh, we've got Coda Boy 32. I appreciate y'all all being here with me. So, like I said, it is a, uh, it, <laughs> yeah, Mo and Curly couldn't make it. Yeah. I love the guys, though. They're great guys. Al, Al Osborne. We got uh, Two Mo. And we got Razor. Yep. Yeehaw. Robin Jones. But uh, what we're going to get into is the 2018 SHOT Show. I want to see what y'all are excited about. We'll discuss it, kind of what I like or what I'm uh, excited about, and uh, we'll go from there. So go ahead and start spitting out your questions. I'll try to read them. Is uh, Yes, Rich, I have my fabulous hair under here. Uh, thank you, Robin. I appreciate it. Hello, Al. But uh, what are y'all thinking? A uh, couple of things that I saw uh, that, you know, some of the videos that have came out, of course, I'm not at SHOT Show. I would love to be. But, um, you know, and even Bald and Curious kind of uh, let me in on this, but the uh, Strybog, I guess it's Strybog, SP9A1, the carbine, um, you know, the 30 round nine millimeter uh, carbine, I thought that thing looked pretty cool. Um, you know, it looks really nice. Um, yeah, Cowboy Shot Show. I thought that thing looked really nice. Um, you know, 30 round magazine, I don't, I've never, even heard of that unit before don't uh don't know that much about it but uh it looks pretty cool yeah it's a pistol uh looks pretty cool though i think it's going to be a nice uh a nice unit and they said that i guess it's going to be they're going to ship it over with key mod on it or something to that effect but uh we'll see and i guess y'all are wanting to know about the reformation um yeah the uh franklin armory i i am not excited about that that thing at all um you know, I kind of was at first until I found out more about it. Um, I, you know, accuracy at, at 100 yards, 50 yards, you know, I think we could do that with our CZ Scorpion. So that didn't excite me too much. And then I'm not buying the special little Nerf ammo, the little rocket looking thing. If you all have seen it, you know, it's not going to be cheap. So I'm kind of out on that deal. Uh, that's my opinion. You know, if someone wants it, by all, all you know, by all means, buy it. But I think, you know, if you really wanted a nice AR pistol, you could get one of those, put a shockwave on it or something to that effect. And, or even, you know, a nice AR uh, would take the place of that. But um, what is up with the Punisher guy? Everyone keeps taking pictures of this guy, isn't even pro gun. I, I haven't even seen that Razor. I'm not, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, yeah, and you know, the Tavor 12 gauge, it, you know, that, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I would buy one. Uh, I think it is kind of cool. Like if, if I just was going to go out and buy something, you know, I had tons of money and, you know, I'd probably buy it for just the cool factor. But I, for me, I think, a you know, a really nice tactical shotgun would get the job done for what I want to use it for. Uh, let me clear this off real quick. It's just now saying our chat went live, but I think it went live quite a while ago. Um, let's see here to make sure I'm not missing anything. I never saw the, the Strawberg MSRP. It, they didn't talk about it, so I'm not sure. What's up, Keenan? Appreciate you being on. Um, Mateo's on. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. 
Sorry, I'm having to clear this stuff. Um, have you gotten a chance to check out the amends to new Glock polymer mags? Yeah, I saw I, I, I saw the review on a Crusader or I saw that you put out a review, but you know, I'm not a Glock guy, but I haven't haven't looked at that yet. So I'll check it out though. Um yeah, you know, I was gonna say I really like my Mossberg, you know, all my Mossbergs and they work well for me. So I, I don't know if I'd spend that much money on the Tavor because you know it's not gonna be cheap. Uh, let's see here. Hey, what's up, Sand? I appreciate you being on. Um, oh, it's eight hundred dollars for the Stromberg. Yeah, that's right. I do remember them saying that. They said around eight hundred bucks. So that is right. B Borg's on, Steve R. Um, and then about the three sixty five. You know, the Sig three sixty five. You know, I saw a lot of videos on there. Really excited about checking it out. You know, thought, man, that that's uh, probably going to be something pretty cool, and I think it's going to sell like hotcakes. But I saw a couple of videos where they were holding it this way, and they weren't putting the hand over it. But one guy did. I think it was Asp ASP. I think he put his hand over it real quick, and I mean, it looked like his thumb was at the end of the barrel. And I saw Kyle Lamb shooting it and stuff like that, but they didn't really give, you know, the left thumb perspective. So I don't know how far it's out there, but um, I really want to put my hands on it before I would consider buying it. Um, let's see. They're not going to be able to give away their information. Yeah. Uh, yes. If y'all have not heard for the people that are coming in late, uh, KS is out on special assignment this evening and 1776 is out sick. He is feeling like dog crap. So. Let's all wish him well. I hope he definitely gets better. But they are here in spirit, so I'm trying to trying to get it done for y'all. I appreciate it. Uh, Fu Master Chu, what's up, man? Uh, let's see here. Shot a GP100 revolver, six-inch barrel. Loved it. Cool music. That's awesome. Um, the uh, you know a couple of things that uh, I don't know if y'all had seen. But A-Rex is offering a new pistol. It's called the Alpha, and it's the A-Rex Alpha, and that's going to be their competition pistol. Looks pretty cool. Um, you know, looks pretty nice. I, I don't, you know, they didn't really give an MSRP about it. They didn't talk about the trigger poundage, but it looks pretty cool. I saw some pictures of it. There is a guy at SHOT Show that uh, took uh, really close pictures of it. It's got really nice slide cuts in the front on the top where the slides are, the slide is, and it's just actually removed weight. But, um, you know, I don't know a lot about it. I just saw him shooting it. It looks like a really nice flat shooter, so we'll see. Uh, what model Mossbergs do you have for three gun? I've got the five, or I've got, well, for tactical, I've got the 590A1, and then I've got the, oh gosh, I've got a video on the uh, three gun. I think it's the 930. Yeah, it's the Mossberg 930. I've got a couple of those with the plus nine extension tube. Um, so, and I really like those. Now I haven't, competed with it yet or anything like that. I'm just trying to get it ready. Uh, do you think they moved that slide lock so the bigger handed people? Yes, actually I do, Crusader. I think they did move it back uh, or more forward, so they definitely won't hit it because even on my VP9 with my large hand, my VP9, my PPQ, I tend to always hit the slide lock on that thing. It's just, <laughs> no matter what I do, I always hit it. Um, just go work at Poe's place. You might lose that thumb and, or Pop's place and might lose that thumb and it won't be a problem. Yeah, well, I don't want to I don't want to blow it off. Um, we got Channel Cat Chaser on. Uh, thanks, Range Rangy. I appreciate it. I'm trying to hold down the fort. Um, got Curious on here. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Yes, the 365 is smaller than the Glock 43. It's actually shorter than the Glock 43 and shorter than the shield. Uh, I mean, that thing is pretty tiny. So that's why I'm I'm just concerned with a really large handed person. You know, I'm sure you can adjust for it or have high thumbs, hold thumbs real high. Uh, but, you know, I want to put my hands on it and just see where we go from there. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and then like I said, music, it, it might work really well for everything. Got Paradox on here. Hey, I appreciate y'all all being on here. Steve's on. Uh, you know, and then as far as what I want to talk about, you know, and if you all have other stuff, please put it in here and we'll, we'll try to discuss it. But um, is the CZ, you know, at the regular CZ booth, they had the, uh, 
the new CZ Urban Gray, the P10 Urban Gray, uh, that is with the threaded barrel suppressor sights. And on the new front sight, it actually has an orange ring around it. I thought that was pretty cool. So interested in seeing what that looks like up close. Um, you know, it's just something that kind of caught my eye when they were talking about it. So I think that's going to be really cool. Uh, as far as the CZ Custom booth, man, I saw some things I really like. Now, of course, we know the Bull Shadow came out, and it came out in the uh, 75 long slide. However, they actually showed the Shadow 2 Bull Shadow and has a bronze uh, slide on it. And man, that thing was awesome. Uh, a Shadow 2 with the bull barrel. That thing is really, really sweet. I just don't know what the price is going to be. And he was saying that it's going to be available. So I think that's going to be a really cool, uh, pretty cool addition. Uh, let's see here. Oh, thanks, Ann. Yeah, I, you know, what's funny is I've been on YouTube for over a year and a half, and I've never, I have tons of cowboy hats, and I've just really never worn one in a video. Um, of course, I wore it today, and I've got cowboy hat heads, so, you know, I just left it on. So, um, yeah, Bald, you got a question. Uh, you like the the uh, Q100 GP? Yes, and, uh, you know, Live for Wild's bringing this up, too. The new P07 and the P09 are going to be in the new OD green, and it's kind of a lighter green. Pretty cool looking. Uh, I think it's going to be nice. Matter of fact, if we're going to do a gun check, I've got the P09 uh, with the uh, the 21 round mag plus one in the pipe. Uh, definitely uh, packing. I'm out of town and in an area where I definitely need more. <laughs> so, but uh, hello, Kevin Roberts. Appreciate you being on. I. Um, you know, as far as revolvers, I've had revolvers in the past. I still own four. I'm just, I'm, I used to be able to shoot them pretty decent when I was younger. And honestly, I haven't practiced with them very much. Um, but, you know, don't know if I'm, heck, I might break them out one day and shoot them. We'll see. Uh, did you guys see Kentucky Guns had the CZ Shadow for nine, uh, 970? Yeah, 976. Um, yes, I actually sent that alert out to, uh, to Nolan, locked and loaded. I sent it to Harry. I sent it to uh, 1776. I sent it to a ton of people. Uh, matter of fact, I even thought about picking up another one because that is an unbelievable price, especially for the black, because the urban gray is a little bit cheaper than the black models. But that was an unbelievable price. And I don't even know how many they had listed. I was just telling everybody, if you want one, grab them while they were there. Um, yes. Uh, Let's see here. Kevin uh, or Keenan is asking, he would like to see another CZ uh, N45 ACP, something compact. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. You know, I love my 97B, but that would definitely be interesting. So maybe they will. Uh, the Canic TP9 Combat um, has Mateo interested. I saw I saw a little bit about that, but I, I didn't check on it, you know, very much. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, hopefully music, it will be enough. Um, no, uh, Sand, I'm not in Oklahoma tonight. I am actually in El Paso, Texas. So I am good old El Paso. So very close to Juarez. Um, El Paso is a nice area, but, um, you know, there's there's some stuff that happens if you're a little close over there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, I guess we've got more people asking. Um, Okay, for the new people coming in, yes, uh, KS is on assignment, a uh, special assignment this evening, and uh, 1776 is very sick. He does not feel well, so please, let, you know, please wish him, wish him well. Uh, yes, Kevin Roberts is wanting a Tanfold Limited 10 millimeter. Yes, they are nice. The Tanfolio Limiteds are super nice. Uh, with the hard chrome, they offer them in 9 millimeter, 40, 45. Uh, and 10 millimeters. So they're they're really sweet. Matter of fact, I uh, want the Tanfold Limited. If I shoot major, I might even get that in a 40. I've even thought about 10 millimeter. Um, yeah, Crusader, I was definitely, I was going to say, you can hit up KS and go do some shooting. I, I went to Kansas and did some shooting with him. It was a lot of fun. And he's a really great guy. Uh, yeah, music, if you have a striker fire. Uh, double action, single action now. Now, yeah, I guess you need a revolver if you haven't had one before. So, um, 
Hey, Crusader, if you're one hour away, that's really close. You ought to make arrangements to head up and meet him. He'd probably really enjoy it. Um, on the Canic TP9, Mateo's saying the combat ready. Uh, it's just like the TP9 SFX with a threaded barrel. That's pretty cool. Um, various holsters. You're really making me su suspicious that why? I don't know. You'll have to finish it, Harry. I don't know what you're saying. Um, show that mop sink, BJ. Curious. I don't know what you're talking about. Want to see the hair? Is that what you're talking about? That's the hair. It's still there. I'm not bald headed. I promise. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the flu is going crazy, Robin. Um, my wife has had it, and so it's definitely nasty. Uh, let's see here. Y'all are really making me suspicious. You actually own CZ. You're in the hotel in Vegas, keeping the cover in KS and 1776 are closing deals. <laughs> no, no, I wish wish we were, but that's not. Yep, yeah, Scab, it's it's the uh, Big Johnson chat tonight. Got 17 sick, and uh, KS is out on uh, work-related items. Uh, no pops, I'm here by myself, I promise. Just me, myself, and I. Um, matter of fact, I did want to bring this up, and if any of y'all are interested in it, you know, um, and I'm not, you know, I don't read a whole bunch of stuff unless it's gun related, which I really like. But if you're interested in any fundamental techniques or competition stuff, and matter of fact, uh, Pops let me be aware of this, uh, Humble Marksman let me be aware of this. But if you're looking for a great book, get Ben Stoger, and it's the um, Practical Pistol, but make sure you get the Reloaded right there where it says Reloaded. This is his second rev uh, like revised edition. But man, it's got great pictures in it, you know, grip techniques, all kinds of stuff. And you can get it on Amazon. So very inexpensive, but well, well worth it. But make sure you get the reloaded edition. So it's really a great book. So a lot of information. Um, Logan, no, I have, did not go to SHOT Show this week. So I've been looking at all the videos that everybody's putting out. And that's kind of what we're talking about tonight. Or talking about tonight. Um, let's see here. No, Mateo, there's no one here, I promise. Yeah, and I saw the Grand Power booth. That's where I uh, saw that Strybe, Stryborg or Strybog or whatever, that uh, carbine pistol. So um, that was pretty cool. Yes, and uh, that NRA booth deal was, was pretty funny. So we'll see what happens there with that deal. But uh, what are y'all interested in? You know, is there any guns that uh, you're really, really wanting or you've got to have now that you've seen? I've got you, Bald. Don't worry. We've got you. I'm going to close out with that. Uh, no, I have not so shot the uh, SAR, the B69, uh, B6P 9mm. I have not. Now, if someone on here has, please uh, let uh, NC, Civil or, uh, NC Civil War know. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't know, Aaron. I am here. I promise I'm by myself. It's just me. So, but um, uh, let's see here. Joseph Soro, love CZ. Wife has the PO7, and I finally got an SPO1. Absolutely fantastic gun. Just CZs. I love them also. I have tons of them, and they are great pistols. Shoot, shoot very well. Matter of fact, ask uh, Bald and Curious. You know, he uh, shot Joey Cuz's Shadow 2 right out of the box. Hadn't shot one before and outshot his uh, Grand Power. So he probably has one on order, but he won't let us know that. So, yes, I have pants on. Golly. Man, what is, what is up with you guys? Uh... Harry's just saying uh, nothing at shot. Is that crazy? 365 is interesting, but there hasn't been any on earth, earth shattering released. And I kind of agree with that. I saw the strike B, you know, whatever the hell they're calling it now, since they changed the name on it. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, the way they were shooting it, it sh shot very flat. Um, looks like a nice design. I saw where they took it apart and stuff, but I don't know. I I'm, you know, I, I want to see that thing out. And, um, uh, you know, out in existence and, you know, they're saying, oh, it's moved this time and that time, you know, I know 17 had one order and it, it blew up and all that, you know, it kept waiting and waiting and waiting. So he said, hell with it and got, you know, got his money back. So don't blame him. 
Um, music your PO9 will come back. It'll come back perfect. So have the patience. They'll get you fixed up. Uh, let's see here. What do you think of the guns, the firearm guy shown in his videos from SHOT Show? Uh, I think he's done a great job. You know, he the things that I wanted to see was a CZ booth. And, um, you know, he had that. Jeremy S. had that. Um, Jeremy S. did a really good job at the CZ custom booth. Um, you know, so I I, uh, I think they're all doing a really great job. Uh, da, da, da. Rich, where none of us are truly alone. So just keep that in mind. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and you know, I saw some pictures of some of the 1911s, and you know, I, I love 1911s. I've had had them in the past and stuff like that. Um, I did see some of the Dan Wesson, like that new, the new Dan Wesson with the threaded barrel, and the they're calling it like a battled uh, nickel finish. Man, that thing was awesome. I mean, that Dan Wesson was just unbelievable looking. So I think um, I think that would be a really nice. Uh, a really nice pistol. Uh, ER Tabu is saying, hey, Big Johnson, VP9 or CZ P10C? Now, I don't personally have a CZ P10C. I've put my hands on it. Uh, I think it would be a really great pistol. I know 17 loves his, KS loves his. Um, you know, and, and I've shot the VP9 a lot. And matter of fact, you know, and I have the PPQ and the VP9. And honestly, I'm really liking the VP9 even more than the PPQ. And I think it has to do with, you know, because on the VP9, or excuse me, on the PPQ, I can only put a large back strap on the rear, but nothing on the side panels. So my hand is still pretty big for it. But the VP9, I've got large side panels all the way around and a large back strap, and it tends to fit me a little better in my hand. Plus, I think it's it, in my hand, it just feels like it's built a little more rugged. I don't know if, if that's true, um, but that's just my opinion. Um, Let's see here. Where am I? What about the retro ARs from Brownells? Um, you know, honestly, I, I must have missed that one, Triple C. Uh, I probably didn't didn't see that video yet, but I will check it out. Um, let's see here. Did I miss something for music? Uh, Oh, I guess starting to bald. Um, insights in here. I appreciate you being here. Uh, yeah, you know, and that is another thing. And music's bringing it up. The PPQ is a little top heavy, in my opinion, and it is. And between the VP9 and the PPQ, and I even have the stainless steel guide rod in my PPQ, which you know adds a tad more weight. We're just talking ounces. It's not a lot, but. Uh, you know, the PPQ has quite a bit of flip. Now I can shoot it really good. I can keep everything on target, but it does, it does has a little more muzzle flip. So to say VP nine just shoots or, or the muzzle stays down better for me and I can shoot both of them fine and very accurately. So that's, that's not an issue there. Uh, Pierce is asking, how about that Mossberg 590M? Uh, if you're talking about the 590, um, 590A1, it's an awesome shotgun. I love that shotgun. Uh, mine holds nine, and you can actually ghost load a tenth in there uh, right up under the follower or right up under the lifter. And uh, it's, I mean, it's a fabulous shotgun. I mean, thing shoots very well, and I mean, it's, it's a tank. So I have no issues with it at all. And I've got videos on it where seven and up, seven and seven up, and I were live, and I mean we're just blasting the hell out of it. So it works very well. Um, let's see here, <laughs> Roller Girl with retro AR has his attention. That's funny. Uh, let's see here. Is there any any guns or any rifles or anything that you guys and ladies are just really, really excited about? I, you know, a couple things I, I really haven't seen, and it, it kind of caught me off guard because I figured somebody would do a video on it, but I haven't seen anything from Springfield, not that I would be excited about it. Uh, I haven't seen anything from Springfield, no videos there. I don't even know if anybody's visiting their, their uh, booth. Um, 
I've seen a uh, new C I don't know if y'all saw the new CZ Turkey gun. That thing is awesome. Um, it's got the, uh, over under, uh, but that, that really looks like a nice shotgun. Uh, and they also have a new coach coach gun. So that's pretty awesome too. I think it's uh, available in 12 gauge and 20 gauge and that looks pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, the Tavor's, uh, or, you know, I think Tavor is a, is a great rifle, a uh, bullpup. I think it, I think it's really cool. Uh, FALs from DSA. Yeah, I did see the Hudson video, the H9 with the aluminum frame and, of course, the threaded barrel and stuff like that. I'm, you know, and I know that Bald loves his, his Hudson, um, you know, and I don't think it's, you know, it's not a gun that I wouldn't say that I would never get. Uh, just right now, it's just not doing a lot for me. Uh, there's too many guns that I have that fit that role. Um, you know, and I know that it's like a 1911 striker fire and all this other stuff, but I don't know. That's, that's just me right now. I know if I, and I, and I did dry fire one uh, in a store, put my hands on it and all that other stuff. And I thought it was pretty cool, uh, but it was already sold. So I, you know, didn't get the chance to, you know, even shoot it or possibly buy it or any of that stuff. But it was a little while ago. Um, yeah, that the Floyd Floyd Tucker's yeah that hammerless coach gun looks pretty nice. That's the one I'm talking about the CZ. Um, I saw the I, I uh, WI Masada, and it does look you know kind of interesting. It, it's a little different, um, or it's it, I guess it's a lot different, but you know it looks pretty interesting. I saw the other one. What is the one that uh, Seventeen was uh, curious about? Um, can't remember the name of it. I bet y'all know the name of it. But uh, I saw it and, and it, I could see that that really long trigger and I was like, mm, that's that's probably not that's probably not mine um, or probably not for me. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the 224 Valkyrie is getting a ton of press. It's been getting a lot of press for quite a while. Um, and I, I'm not real familiar with that one. So that's not my forte. Uh, so I know that Mateo knows a lot about that cartridge. Um, I just really don't. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, you know, with the Springfield situation, I don't know if they're going to hang in there or what's going to happen there. And I know they're, you know, their older 1911s were really nice. Um, you know, and I never really cared personally for their striker fire pistols because it had the, uh, the rear safety, you know, the, the gun had four safeties on it. And I didn't think that that was needed for a striker fire pistol, but that's just me. You know, I know that it's very similar to a 1911 and I don't mind it on a 1911, but just not a, uh, a uh, polymer pistol. Yeah. The Caracol, that's it. Young guns. Yeah. It's the Caracol. You know, and I don't know. I, you know, um, it just didn't do anything for me. Uh, Captain Phil says he may try his hand at competing with his PO9. Uh, Captain Phil, I recommend it. I've seen tons of people, uh, competing with PO9s, and I've shot my PO9 in a competition, and it did very well. Shot nice. Uh, it's very light. You know, you can swing it fast. I mean, it's just a great pistol. You know, I, I love it. So definitely, Captain Phil, jump out there and do it, man. You don't know till you try. Um, I had I did not see uh, LZ USA is talking about the Kimber booth. I didn't see. Uh, I haven't seen any of the videos on the Kimbers yet. Um, so I'll have to check some of those out and Kimber makes a really nice, uh, a really nice 1911, you know, especially their higher end, um, their lower ends, man, eh, you know, they, they're okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. And live for wild runs his PO nine and IDPA. Yep. That's right. And he, and I was gonna say he shoots, he shoots bullseye shooting with that thing. I've seen his groups. They're really nice. Yeah, Steve, that's it. The, the, uh, yeah, the XDs had that grip zone thing. That just really wasn't, really wasn't, that, I didn't like it. Um, yeah, the PO9 with the Cajun trigger upgrade and normal hands will, will perform on par with the Shadow 2. Um, that's from Bowling Curious. You know, I've seen people where they've tricked out their PO9s and they've shot really great. Um, and I love my PO9 and I shoot it very well too. You know, it's just, Something about the grip on the Shadow 2. I mean, you can really get a great purchase on the PO9, 
but uh, you can really get a deeper purchase on that shadow too. And with the weight, of course, it helps. Not that a, a you know nine millimeter you know shoots crazy uh, or has crazy recoil, but that shadow too definitely definitely gets it done. I really like it. Um, yeah, Mateo's even saying plenty of guys run the PO9 in local competitions. Um, matter of fact, Humble was sharing uh, a story with me where two guys were using the old shadows uh, in his area in competition, and they got rid of their old shadows and got PO9s. So, and they're running those. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, and music, you know, I mean, I know a lot of people like the, uh, the Kimbers. And music is just saying Kimber seems overpriced drugs. Um, you know, I, I think if for some of the prices on the Kimbers, I think if you, you know, just went up just a little bit more, you could get a better tiered pistol uh, than, you know, some of your basic Kimbers. And, you know, I'll tell you another really nice 1911 and a lot of people underrate it is the Smith & Wesson Performance uh, 1911s. I mean, they're really nice. So, and they shoot nice. I mean. You know, so if, if you're looking at, you know, if you're looking at getting a, uh, a really good price or a really good pistol, you could maybe even check out Smith & Wesson, their performance lines. Um, yeah, Captain Phil, it's easier to buy two PO9s for the price or, or for to then it'll match the price of one of the two or the Shadow 2s. And you're correct. I mean, I've got two PO9s, one I carry, one I'm kind of souping up, but um yeah, it, they're, I mean, you're right. They're they're really great guns. Uh, no, yeah, Knuckles is saying uh, he heard Kimber customer service is not that good. Honestly, I've never never dealt with them, so I'm really not sure. If anybody personally has, they could leave the comment in here for Knuckles and or, and or for anyone to let them know. Yes, and Keenan, you're exactly right. Sig makes really awesome 1911s. Um, they're they're really nice gun. I mean, I, I honestly love the Sig Nightmare. I think that that 1911 is awesome. Um, yeah, Ruger 1911. Some of, uh, I was gonna say, you know, the basic entry uh, Ruger. You know, I've shot it and it was okay. Uh, but yeah, you get into the higher end Rugers and they make some nice stuff too. And of course, you can go into the forged versions. You can go into STIs. You can go into all kinds of crazy ones. Um, yeah, Channel Cat got the American Classic, and it looks like a really nice pistol, too. Uh, I love the finish on it. That hard chrome is really nice. I love hard chrome. It's just really, really great. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and Harry's saying 98% of the shooting is the shooter, not the gun. And, I mean, that's exactly right. You know, a lot of people think they're going to buy the high-end competition gun and just go out and shoot bullseyes with it, you know. Uh, that's, that's not, that's not true. <laughs> so, but, uh, Harris Skinner, hi guys from Dallas, Texas. Hey, one of my local guys, Harris, I appreciate you. Um, yeah. And then Harry's saying he'd buy Dan uh, Wesson or a Les Bear over a Kimber. Yeah. And I've owned both the Dan Wesson and the Les Bear. They're great pistols. Loved them. Um, and you can even get like their custom types and, um, they really make a nice thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, young guns. Please, CZ, make a t uh, ten millimeter. They actually did a, and I don't know if you've ever seen the video on it, but they took a ninety-seven B and they retroed it to a ten millimeter. It had ten millimeter barrel in it, and they were shooting the ninety-seven B, but with ten millimeter, and that thing was awesome. And yeah, that would that would be really cool if they did that. Uh, My gun shoots low, music, okay. Um, yes, and Kevin Roberts, Tanfolio makes a great 10, min, 10 millimeter, and they make multiple 10 millimeters too. Uh, matter of fact, if you haven't checked it out, Tanfolio makes a polymer version called a P-Match, and I've brought it up on other chats before, and it's an incredible pistol. They have, uh, it's it's set up with a single action trigger, and it is a competition gun, and it's made in, in uh, 10 millimeter. They make it in 9, 40, 45, and 10 millimeter. And it's got the built-in uh, polymer, um, you know, the funnel, the whole works on it. It's ready to go out of the box. And it's only like 570 bucks. Uh, and it's a true tan folio. So, 
if anyone's looking for a possible polymer competition gun, I mean, that's just a polymer uh, competition tanfolio. I've almost pushed the button on it many times. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, Captain Phil, I was going to say, if I had the 97, or I have the 97, I would love for them to uh, send me the 10 millimeter barrel. But it, they had custom done some stuff to it. It wasn't just dropping it in there. Uh, they had to redo some stuff on the slide, they said, and stuff like that. Um, 40 cal and 10 millimeter, what's the difference? Um, I was going to say, Pops, you should know that. Come on. You know, and, and I was going to say, I just think it'd be cool to have a 10 millimeter, you know, an all steel 10 millimeter. But you're exactly right. I mean, they both get the job done. And they have the exact same capacity. Um, Tanfolio, stupid phone. I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, Tanfolio MX2 poly match guns. Yes, they have the double action, single action version and the uh, the other P match in the single action. Here's your six. The other guys, KS is out on um, work assignment and uh, 1776 is sick. He is not feeling well at all. So. It's just solo me. And I'm in another time zone too. So uh, let's see here. Yeah, I was going to say, we definitely have a lot of new people on the chat. I really appreciate it. Got a really good, uh, got 66. Hit that, hit that like button. We definitely love it. Um, yeah, Dan Wesson, that, that's that new 10 millimeter I was talking about. That thing would be awesome. Uh, Johnson, are you wearing your race shoes? Uh, no, I'm not wearing my race shoes. I'm wearing my race boots. Yeah, well, 1776 is on. He said uh, we sold a thousand units of PO7s. Yeah, I bet we have. Uh, let's see here. Scav has a 45 and it stops a trick. Oh, stops, I guess, a bad guy in his tracks and knocks him 12 feet back. Exactly. That's what a 45 will do. It'll knock you 12 feet back. But you'll just perfectly stand there when you shoot it, so it won't be an issue. Uh, da, 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 da. On the tan, on the, uh, Knuckles asking on that Dan Wesson 10 millimeter. I think they said it was like $3,200. $3, I could be incorrect. You know, there's been so many videos, but it was something like that. So I could be wrong. Harris Skinner. Hello. I appreciate you being on. Um, yeah. Okay. 1776 has the flu. So yes. Uh, feel bad for you, brother. Uh, So I haven't seen what y'all are really excited about. Drop some stuff here. Let me know what you guys are wanting and ladies, what you got to get that you've seen so far. Uh, I carry, how's the diet been going? Is it hard? Uh, I do have an update video coming on it. I don't want to give out all the goodies because I'm going to tell everybody exactly what I've been doing. Um, so it's going to be kind of a step-by-step -step in where I am now. So I've already made the video. I'll be putting it out very soon. So y'all can uh, watch that if you would like. Yeah, Rick, we, I was going to say, we've been talking about the 365 a lot. I think a lot of people are really excited about it. And I think it's going to be a hell of a seller. Um, you know, and a lot of people have been kind of saying, well, God, I can't believe the price is 550 or I guess that's their MSRP, 599 or whatever. But you also have to remember that's not going to be street price. And it does come with night sights. So, you know, if you were going to buy a pistol and then put a hundred dollar set of night sights on it, it'd be there either way, you know, so it might be a really great, a great pistol. I just, I want to put my hands on it, make sure I don't blow my thumb off uh, and I might consider getting it. Plus I really want to feel the trigger. You know, I've seen reviews where people are like, oh, it's just like the 320 or, oh, it's better or, oh, it's not better. You know, so I don't know where to be with that. So we'll see. Um, yeah, you know, and, and Paradox brings up a point. Seen nothing on the AK platform yet. Um, you know, I've shot AKs before. I've never personally owned an AK. 
uh, something I've been interested in and maybe grabbing. Now I've had the SKSs in the past, you know, 762 by 39, but I've never personally owned an AK. And I know a lot of people like them. And, you know, I probably want to shoot one more or shoot it, shoot one a lot more uh, to kind of see, you know, if I really want to get one. So. And for any anybody here on the chat that has a CZ Scorpion, you know, Pops is actually offering the uh, CZ Scorpion mat mag loader now. So go over to Pops Quest. He's selling them on Etsy under Pops Cabinet Shop. So grab you a CZ Scorpion mag loader. I mean, uh, that's it definitely is a thumb saver uh, because those things will wear out your thumbs when you're loading those suckers. Um, and I bought a ton of mags for the for the uh, Scorpion. So. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Oh, and, and, you know, it's bringing up another valid point that some people are asking about. The subcompact PPQ, for me, or I, I guess they're calling it a subcompact, it looks like it, but with that little bitty grip, that thing just looks crazy to me. And then it comes with an extension that, you know, makes it a real PPQ or a full size. So, I, me personally, I don't have any reason to, to get anything like that. I would just stick with the regular PPQ, in my opinion. So... Uh, let's see here. Music, how many revolvers? Um, I don't know if you're asking me that or asking someone else that, but if it's, if it's me, um, you know, give me, give me a holler and I'll. Yeah. Opt out of control. The Scorpion mags are easy to load. I mean, you know, when you load the 14 mags of them, it's it's not that easy to load. I mean, if you watch Pop's Quest video, you simply put your magazine in there and just go, and you're done. I mean, it's that quick. You don't even use your thumb. So um, check out his video and you'll notice. Uh, let's see here. You're welcome, Pops. Uh, and yeah, the Shield 9 is a great pistol. You know, if you have the Shield 9 and, and um, you know, the 365 might not be you know, something you want, or if you have a Glock 43, you might not want uh, the, uh, the 365. Uh, Kevin Roberts says he's lost 42 pounds with that diet. Man, that's awesome. Congratulations, Kevin Roberts. That is awesome, brother. I'm definitely excited for you. Uh, let's... Yeah, it looks like people have quite a bit of revolvers on there. Uh, yeah, and Ruger, I mean, they've been, Ruger's been making nice revolvers for quite a while. Yeah, I actually, uh, there's a place in San Antonio talking about the Colt Python. There's a place in San Antonio that actually has the old Colt, Colt Python, and it's in a glass case, and it's never even been shot. Um, so, but they want a fortune for it. So, but it's a beautiful gun. Let's see here. Bald and curious. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Yep, that's what we're doing here. And I want some questions about, you know, Got to give me some questions about what y'all are excited about. Anything from SHOT Show, you know, or is anybody into, does anybody here shoot skeet, you know, uh, trap shooting, anything like that? Have y'all done any of that? I think it's a lot of fun. I've done it in the past. Uh, how many mag holders do I have on my competition belt? I actually have four. I have four mag holders, and then I start off with one in my hand or one in the pocket, and then I just pull it out, and that's the one that I load. So. Uh, let's see here. Just a little pricey. I must have missed what was a little pricey. You know, I saw the Kimber revolver and that, I mean, I've never shot one, a Kimber revolver, but it just doesn't do that much for me just looking at it, but it might shoot really nice. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, trap will definitely keep you, trap shooting will keep you on your toes especially when you have no idea. We did one what was called a blind trap where you don't know where they're coming from. Uh, I mean, some some that we shot, they'll be like, hey, it'll come in from left to right, you know, da-da-da-da-da. But I've been at them where they just, 
boom, they just hit a button and it, and it rotates between. So you never know where it's coming. And it definitely gets pretty, pretty crazy when you're doing that. Uh, I have not seen the uh, new Taurus Hunter revolver, so I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, I was going to say, Pops, there's just not a ton of stuff at this SHOT Show that I'm just jumping up and down about. Other than, I'm telling you, that uh, that CZ Custom, the Bull Shadow 2, um, that thing looks pretty awesome. Not the not the Bull Shadow that's on the 75 5-inch frame, but the actual Shadow 2 Bull Shadow looks pretty awesome. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and sporting clays are fun. I mean, I've done that before too. Uh, matter of fact, there's a place in Dallas. Um, it's actually, it used to be called, uh, oh gosh, what's the name of it? It's actually right off, in, it's on Luna Road. It used to be called Luna Gun Range. And when I was younger, we used to go there all the time and uh, shoot skied out there. Uh, but then it flooded out and then it changed names and the new owners are kind of cheesy. But uh, anyway, I, and like I said, it, I haven't been there in a long time, so maybe stuff's changed too. Uh, let's see, during 44, no, nothing in that caliber. Bald and curious, you're only turning 44? Man, you're a pup. Um, yeah, and I don't have a 40, uh, well, no, I personally don't have a 44. Um, or 54, I've had those, I've had plenty of those engines before. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, that Desert Eagle that Robin has is really cool. Uh, that's That looks awesome. Uh, hey, Big Johnson, have you ever tried the Henning trigger in your Tanfolio? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, in mine, I've got the Eric Grafell. Um, I have not tried the Henning, so. And mine actually works really nice, so I haven't had any issue to want to change it. Uh, You know, I, uh, Chris is asking, you know, he said he's seen some of the compact size Shadow 2 on the CZ forums. I have not seen those yet. Uh, if maybe they're coming, I, I'm not sure. You know, um, what's what's really crazy is uh, a guy that shoots with us or, or shoots where we shoot for competition. He actually took a Shadow 2, cut the whole beaver tail off the rear of it, put some really thin grips on it. It's running a different base plate. And he's shooting his Shadow 2 with the shaved beaver tail in true IDPA. Now, I've shot mine in an IDPA-ish event. It was a club event, and they, they uh, didn't weigh them and do all this other stuff. So, But uh, he actually chopped it all up and made it work for him. Uh, let's see here. Pops Quest. Who is planning on a Super Bowl party? <laughs> I know I'm not. But uh, some people might be. Um, okay. So, and then uh, I carry uh, I carry my revolver. He said he's seen the compact CZs also. You know, I knew they were coming out with the full size and the compact. I haven't seen them yet. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to come with them. Harry's is saying he thinks the Shadow 2 compacts is a fake. And, you know, hell, somebody might be, you know, goofing around with some pictures or something who knows i think um you know i think the shadow 2 compact would be really awesome and i tell you you know after i shot my sphinx with the uh modern weapons uh trigger kit in it man that thing is that thing is awesome um i mean and i'm not just saying that it really you know the gun the sphinx stock sphinx shoots great but that thing really woke it up um double actions awesome single actions is even better um LZ USA, Big Johnson, can you perform more trick shooting? Uh, you can split cards. Yes, I've split two cards in three shots. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. We're, that's one of the things I kind of wanted to do for 2018 is try to do some different stuff. Um, and I threw that challenge out, split cards. I know Ball did one a long time ago where he split a card in the snow. Um, but I figured a lot more people try to split cards. It's, you know, I thought it'd be pretty cool to do something different. I've got some other stuff I'm going to try. I'm not saying I'll be successful, but it's going to be live. I'm not hiding anything. I'll either do it or I won't do it. Uh, but I've got some other stuff I'm going to try. So you can hold tight for that and see how it comes out. Um, 
Yeah, I, uh, Chris, I did see the Sphinx, you know, they're coming out with the new STP with aluminum grips, but, you know, I mean, the rubber grips are super nice. You know, it's got, if you haven't seen one, it's got the small, it's a whole assembly that goes on small, medium, and large, and they actually really feel nice. Um, you know, it if it's coming with full aluminum grips, honestly, and, and I mean, other people might feel differently, um, you know, like the CZs with the aluminum grips, for me, when it gets humid or, you know, hot and sweaty and stuff like that, those get really slick. And I know they make beautiful Instagram pictures, but for real shooting, I don't find them useful, honestly. So I always change them out. So even if I was able, or if I got a Sphinx with the aluminum grips, I'd probably want to change those out. Um, and I haven't seen what kind of traction's on them, uh, but that's just me. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, no, Jerry Michalik is very talented. That guy is, <laughs> he's crazy. He's the only guy that I've ever seen that could, he turns a revolver upside down and shoots bullseyes with it. I mean, I would love for him to be my grandfather, put it that way. That guy can shoot. Um, all right, Robin got her a tripod and she's going to do some more videos. That's awesome, Robin. Yeah, I actually got a tripod too. Uh, and I think the first video I used it on was, uh, the uh, Sphinx one, so. <laughs> okay, Rich says uh, he would like to see me uh, flip a penny in the air and shoot the head side. Ooh, okay. Yeah, uh, that uh, that uh, would definitely be a feat. Uh, don't think that that's going to be happening. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, the NFL is a whole different ball game. Uh, it's you know. Um, thanks, Crusader. Appreciate you being on. It's got to head out. Uh, you watch Twelve Strong yet? Um, yeah, Razor's asking, uh, and I know he's asking Mateo the Twelve Strong yet. I have not seen that, but I definitely want to. I think it'd be a pretty cool movie. But um, as far as ammo have any of y'all and i know that i think razor bought some um just an update on the hellfire ammo you know i think i bought four thousand rounds from those guys uh and to this date i've only had that one where i had the bad primer um you know i did the video on it and i'll probably be, do, be doing a you know another video on it just to kind of tell everybody where i am with it now but so far it's been working really great and you know i've had some people ask if it would run through the scorpion because apparently uh two people had some issues with remanufactured ammo in their scorpion and i think one of them was freedom and freedom munitions um but i ran the crap out of this through my cz scorpion and i haven't had any issues I, just that one bad primer so um yeah, Pops Quest, he did take the Ben Stoger two-day class for $450, and that is a hell of a deal. And I would definitely love to do that. Hopefully, he'll be coming my and coming towards my area. Um, that would be really cool. And I did try to get into uh, John Lovell's class. He actually is coming to Dallas. Um, he had two classes in Dallas, and I tried to sign up for them, and they were already sold out. And because I really wanted to take his class, I thought that would be a really cool class to take. And... <laughs> It sold out very, very quickly. So uh, let's see here. Steve Luminix just shot today with my first thousand from Hellfire. No issues so far. Cool. Yeah, good. Uh, like I said, I haven't had any issues with me and they're not paying me. Trust me. Um, it's just a good price and, you know, it seems to be running really good. Uh, Vborg said it's good ammo. So I guess he's running it too. Um, Ball and Curious offers classes with the Yankee Marshall for $200 a head. So if anybody wants to take that class, by all means, go take it. All in curious, he'll, 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 uh, if you can understand him, there might be a translator there, but, um, you know, take, take bald and curious this class, uh, razor 4,000 rounds of different grains and zero malfunction. Okay. So razors had good luck with hellfire. Good. I'm glad. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's Pinky Marshall. Yeah, that's right. No, Bald and Curious, you know, I met him at the farm. He's a great shooter. Um, and he's a great guy. You know, like I said, everybody at the farm was awesome. It was just like we were, we've known each other for 20 years. So it's definitely great to be a uh, farmer. 
Uh, and then Pops Quest does farm training, two day class for $200. That's awesome. And Pops Quest will probably sell you his custom loaded ammo too. So, and he'll even let you use his uh, mag loaders probably for free. I think he's got some at the farm that you can just use while you're there. Uh, locked and loaded lifestyles. I don't know why I keep getting you and BJ confused. Okay. Um, oh, Big Mo's going to take a class with John Lovell. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, apparently you got to book it way in advance. And I went on there and I thought I was doing it way in advance. And no, it was sold out. He had some other ones like in Louisiana that hadn't sold out, but I don't want to drive that far. That's a long way. Um, but uh, yeah, and I did want to go over a couple of things because we're getting close to the end of the chat. But, um, you know, I, I want you guys to tune in and I know most of the subscribers on our chat uh, probably definitely tune in to uh, Nolan, but please check out uh, Locked and Loaded Lifestyles. Um, great guy, really good chat, good people on there. And then also uh, the three gun chat, not to be confused with the three guys gun chat. OK, so there's a difference. But the three gun chat roundtable that Bald and Curious does with Pops Quest, Coda Boy 32, Rick's on there. Uh, he does that every second Friday and he will be doing it this Friday. Uh, he'll send out an alert. So please, everyone, check out, uh, you know, Bald and Curious's uh, three gun chat. Not three guys chat, three gun chat. You know, we have ours patent pending, so you can't use our name. But um, anyway, please check those guys out. And then uh, also, uh, don't forget about the C-Max giveaway. You know, we've got Bald and Curious is putting it up, but we've got Crazy Scotsman has a gun in there, Insight Freedom, USA Ed, you know, Cab Ugly is doing a separate thing also. I mean, please, uh, please help out C-Max. You know, I did the putter uh, and, you know, we had a really good response. And uh, so, you know, definitely help out C-Max. He's one of the brothers in the community. We want to take care of our own. Um, Kevin Roberts, I asked Plinkster how many decks of cards it took him. It probably, that guy's a shooter. I mean, he'd probably kick my butt all over the place. I know that. So I would never say that I was anywhere in his class. Um, you're welcome, Nolan. <clears throat> um, Sorry, I'm just trying to uh, trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, Robin, I appreciate it. You know, and I appreciate all y'all being on. Um, I hope I did justice with the solo mission. You know, I know that uh, KS has done it for us before, and just want to try to hold down the fort. And uh, you know, please tune in. We do this every Wednesday night, seven o'clock central, and it's the three guys gun chat. So not to be confused with the other chat, but, uh, you know, definitely tune into us. We appreciate it. You know, thumbs up the chat. We appreciate that, too. Um, and definitely appreciate all the subscribers. Um, you guys and ladies are what makes it happen. And uh, we enjoy doing this with you all. Uh, if anybody has any other questions real quick, you know, we'll uh, we'll take them as fast as we can and try to get any questions that are hanging out there before we shut this thing down here in a minute. Thanks. I appreciate it, everyone. Yeah, I got to be the lone soldier. We got to hold down the fort. Can't let it go to hell. Thanks very much, guys. I appreciate y'all. Um, well, Scott uh, Altwater, this was, I guess it was his first time here. We appreciate it. Yeah, please uh, subscribe to us. Uh, KS Gun Guy and 1776 are the other two. They're just not here this evening, but check them out. You know, we do rotate the channels. Um, that way we just bring in more subscribers. we have some more guests that are going to be coming on, um, you know, and we enjoy bringing in guests every once in a while and uh, kind of making it a little different, <coughs> mixing it up, especially some things that we're not, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that is not our forte. Always good to have different opinions. And um, we love the questions. We. Bald and curious because there is no I. We are a team. It's we, us three. They're just out tonight. So I will say we. So no I in team. So we appreciate y'all so much. Oh, and then two live move. It was just first time here too. We appreciate it very much. And, um, you know, tune in to us. And don't forget about the three gun chat. 
Friday night and then locked and loaded. You know, he does rotate. I think he does a Saturday chat and then he does, I think, Tuesdays. Um, but he'll send out alerts and let everyone know. So if you haven't checked out locked and loaded lifestyles, please do. Um, if any of y'all on here have channels, please, everyone subscribe to each other on the channel. You can and then how to do it. Just hit the icon and then go to channel and then subscribe to them. I see a ton of people on here that have actual YouTube channels. So and everyone offers a lot of different things. Uh, you know, I appreciate Harry's being on. He makes great holsters. A lot of us run his holsters, too. So check him out. But um, I appreciate. Oh, let's see. You commented on one of my false echo triggers. Oh, OK. Yeah. Opt out of gun control. Yeah. He uh, he's got some echo triggers. And yeah. OK. Well, I appreciate you checking it, checking me out tonight or checking us out tonight. Uh, definitely want to uh, definitely want to give people shout outs. So but. Um, Next, uh, next week, it will actually be on KS Gun Guy's channel. So he is next on the rotation. So next Wednesday, we'll be on KS's channel. But uh, I appreciate everyone so much. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, please leave them afterwards, and I'll try to answer them. But um, we are just keeping it real, and appreciate y'all so much. So thank y'all, and have a great night. And remember, everyone carry on.